fuck is this? It's a, it's a fist, bro. What? It's a fist. Fist, yeah, but what, what, what do you use this for? I put my controller on it. Ah. It's my controller holder. <coughs> it's the Rotation arm. Oh, it's but the arm from uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. But did they make it for you to hold your controller on it? No, it's like a like a hand that you put on your desk. There's a base that I put it on, but I put it out. Ah, okay. Is it like for display? Yeah, it's for display. Kind of whack, not gonna lie. Ah, it's cool. I can point to people with it. Got fun, uh, fucking ashy. How do you call these? Elbows? Elbows. Had me had me really confused there for a second. I was like, what the fuck is the blood talking about? No, man. Today, bro, my whole skin is dry, man. I don't know. I'm never ashy, man. Yeah, because you're white, bro. How yeah, does that work? Uh, I think our skin ju- just dries up quicker because of the lack of um, uh, vitamin D, I think. Well, that doesn't make sense because I also have vitamin D deficiency. Look it up while I keep talking nonsense to the people. So today I woke up. I have the, I have, I have it once every couple of years. Now once a year, maybe. That's for s- r- some reason. One day my body is just fucking dry. And that's today. I, I look a l- more pale than usually too. Which is uh, really strange, man. And I just seen it because I was wearing a hoodie all day. I don't know what it is. I think it has to do with the oil or, or of our skin. Because in the summer, I'm never ashy. But in the winter, I'm more ashy. It has to do with the cold. Something with the cold. So it has to do with the sun. My my skin flakes. Like it literally breaks off. Yeah. And it's cold. Man just turns white and gets really ashy. There was a word for white it, people get ashy too. Yeah, of course. Everybody gets ashy. But I don't get ashy. Maybe your body just makes too much oil. Actually, that that is true. Yeah. Because my, my body is used to the warm climate. Yeah. That's my allergy. That's why my skin flakes sometimes. Yeah. Damn. I wish my skin was ashy then, in that case. But you don't use lotion or something like that. No, because my skin is already very oily. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't need to I don't need to use lotion. There probably will be an anti-oil lotion that actually neutralizes your skin. I don't know, man. I need to, I need to hydrate my skin more. Yeah, you need to use the Serophy or Carophy, I don't know how you pronounce that shit. That shit doesn't, bro, I kid you not, bro. My life was so good before I started using stuff. My life was good before I used to started to use like the Blistec uh, lip balsam. That shit actually fucked my lips up. Really? Yeah, man. Are they still fucked? Uh, I haven't used it for a year now. It's st- still the recovering, but I think you're not supposed to use that on the regular. I think it was yeah. for, I, w- I was using it multiple times a day, literally. And it got so bad that if I didn't use it, my lips would literally turn bricks, literally. And I could literally tear them uh, off. It's, it's literally like addicting, you know, right? What is addicting? No, I think your it's, it's kind of got a... It's like steroids. Yeah. Your balls get smaller. No. That's <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my balls shrink. Actually, how, no, how could I know if like my balls shrink or not? <laughs> There's no way I can find out. You have out. to check them, you know that, right? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't remember uh, how don't they were. Don't you daily ago. go like, hmm, this oh one's yeah. bigger now. Yeah, I'm afraid of playing with my balls, man. <laughs> I feel you, I feel <laughs> you. Have you ever lost your ball inside you? No, no, no. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I never did that. This is scary too. Me. But apparently there's something normal you can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. You can like put them back where they w- dropped <laughs> off when I you were 15, bro. I was really scared of that. I, I, no, I'm, no, bro. Imagine if they never come back. Bro, How I are you going to get it back? Bro, I started jumping. <laughs> You was trying to make them drop. Bro, I was actually scared, bro, because it just, it just, it just went floop. Bro, don't say that. I feel it in my balls now. Bro, it was, <laughs> it just disappeared, and I was like, bro, where the fuck did it go? Bro, go. It was it soft. <laughs> <laughs> but the way, like, your balls are positioned, you know, yeah. like, it goes like this, right? So I thought it went into my ass. I was like, where did she go? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Man. Uh, I, I was yeah. like 17, I think, when it happened. So yeah. I, I'm like, what the no, fuck? No, that going never on? happened to me. I'm afraid of that and my balls twisting. Oh, bro. That was before I knew that balls yeah. could twist. Otherwise, that, that oh, would have never happened either. That's why I take my steps slowly. That's why I walk with spread legs. So there's never a, a situation occurs where my balls get twisted. 
the, the worst case is when it, when they can't untwist it. Oh, bro, don't say that, bro. Sometimes I'm afraid that if I keep thinking about something, I'll subconsciously my body will do it. <laughs> your body will do it. <laughs> boss, you know? Yeah. Um. Imagine just like moving your uh, ears. That's like something everybody can do, but at some point, maybe you will unlock it. So okay. I'm afraid that I unlock the ability to to push my balls. Just move your balls individually. Uh, don't say that. Bro. I don't <laughs> want to think about it. I don't want to. That's think actually about hilarious. It. Like that's one of the things I'm really afraid of. It's my balls Touching twisting. Balls? I'm afraid of uh, twisting my balls, uh, but no, the first thing, number one, uh, top five things that I'm afraid of. Number five, my balls twisting. <laughs> I'm really that afraid of it. Out of out of everything you can name, that's like the fifth more yeah, most the fifth, scary thing in the, the world the fifth for thing, you. Yeah, in, uh, in my body. In your in body. body, ah, okay, okay. okay. Well, boss twisting is number five, yeah? Yeah. It is scary, but I don't think it will ever happen, hopefully. Is it, is it, is it lower or higher than a heart attack? No, no, that's, that's a good one. Ah, okay, okay. Number two, uh, number four, I would say not being able to grow uh, facial hair. Okay. Because, you know, I didn't get the hairline, at least I, I need to get the, <laughs> I need to get the facial hair. So, uh, I, I have a little bit. I have a little bit. But I, I, I will never use it. That's cheating. I don't want to cheat in life. It's like ah, playing okay, a game okay. and then you're cheating. It's like steroids. I just want to unlock it. But you would have used I think steroids if I just if I just train more and eat healthier because I don't really eat healthy, yeah. I think if I fix my testosterone levels a little bit higher, I think it, it will they will naturally grow. Because the couple of months earlier uh, past year that I was uh, training, I saw more hair come out. So mm. Science. Okay, okay. I did the experiment, so I just need to train more and eat b- healthier. And I think th- it will come out. <laughs> <laughs> That's number four. Number three. Number three is... Um, two, 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 two. What am I more afraid of? Being attractive of men all the time. They have nothing to do with my body, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you're afraid of that, I think you're gay. That's a valid point. Yeah, that's a good point. And if you're also, if you get really offended by gay people, you're also gay. That's my theory. If uh, I see that's somebody, that's a valid theory. if I see somebody that can't handle gay jokes or gets really offended uh, when he sees gay people, I think you're subconscious, you're you're secretly gay, and you're mad because the those people can be gay freely, and you're no, you can't be gay freely. I think that's something in your triggers, and you're like, ah, that's good. that could have been me. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I don't think that will be. Uh, let me think. Have you ever okay. gay porn? No. <laughs> <laughs> the closest thing to gay porn I ever watched was the, the two Let's black men kissing. No. It <laughs> 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 the two black dudes kissing. You know the meme? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, yeah, closest yeah. I've ever been to gay porn. That's uh, hilarious. People, people use that on the Instagram page. No, no, people use that on the, on like the, when people say, ah, oh, I want her Instagram tag. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. the two guys kissing. That's the closest I've ever been to uh, gay for. Why are you clicking on the Instagram tags? <laughs> <laughs> no comment, no comment. Uh, so, uh, number, okay, number three. I might, uh, let's, let's, we go, we're going to open, we can we want to keep it vacant. We're going to keep it open. I don't know. Number two, heart issues. If there's one thing I'm afraid of is, Having heart heart issues. Why? Because my dad also died because of heart issues. Uh, heart issues at a, at a young age. So I'm afraid that something will happen one day, and then my heart just gives up. And through my life, I always had faces that I had issues with my heart. That I was like yeah. feeling so sudden. Stru- uh, how do you say it? That's it. That's it. <laughs> the Steps. <heart> <laughs> You know, I survived a couple I heart attacks. I remember when you went to the doctor. You were like, no, 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 I went to the hospital. I went to the hospital, bro. I didn't even go to the doctor. I went to the hospital. I thought I was dying that day. Did you know that you're fuck fuck the two fucking old doctors on YouTube for the people that know two fucking old guys talk about <laughs> health issues. Fuck those guys, because those two old bastards. I watched their video. And they gave me science that could lead to heart attack. And I had like f- five out of uh, out of the six or seven. And they said, if you are, if you have more than three, go to the hospital right now. And then, then I started to hyperventilate. And I, I, had, really? a pa- I had a panic attack. <laughs> so I suddenly I started to feel the other stuff. That's hilarious. And then I couldn't breathe no more. I literally went to the window to get some fresh air. I was like... <sighs> 
You know, when you start to pay attention to how you breathe, you actually yeah. breathe worse. <laughs> no, I, I breathe better. <laughs> no, I breathe worse. So I started to breathe worse, and I was like, bro, I'm, uh, I'm getting really light in my head and shit. This sign number seven. <laughs> I'm dying in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then I told my mom, get me to the hospital. And then we went to the hospital and they did some tests on me. And uh, the girl, the the girl, which is uh, the nurse, she was like, bro, I'll be honest. Just eat more vegetables. Yeah. No, <laughs> so you see, they just said the chance you have a heart attack is less than zero at your age. I was 20 at that time, I think, literally. Yeah, yeah. She said at that age, having a heart attack is literally less than zero uh, percent. Unless you have some uh, heart issues you had prior to that heart issues. I don't know. She did some the breathing test shit. And one of the breathing tests is like they tell they tell you to like to breathe really deep mm-hmm. and slow and out for a couple of times. But if you do that you get dizzy. Yeah. So that's actually not correct. So I started doing this and I got dizzy. But the bitch didn't tell me you will get dizzy. I'm like, nah, now nah, it's going to happen. At least I'm at the <laughs> hospital right now, bro. And then uh, she was like, oh, you seem all right. Because she had this uh, machine that could see like the CO2 or like the oxygen, the oxygen in my uh, in shit. Blood. Yeah, yeah. All, all that shit. And I was like, yeah, everything seems all right. I'm like, yeah, but I'm getting, I feel really dizzy. She's like, yeah, this happens when you breathe like that because you're not supposed to breathe like that. I'm like, bitch, tell me that. Before I think before I'm going to die. Before I think I'm going to die, boys. I think some of the heart issues, number two. Number three, knee issues. I'm afraid something will happen two. to me. No, that's number three. Number three will be something with my niece. Five? Five is... False twisting. False twisting. Four? Getting no facial hair. No facial hair. Three? Knee issues. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. ACL torn or something. So that, 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 that I don't want to experience that in my life because I have fucked up knees. If something happens to my niece, I'm done. I will yeah, be in a ro- 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 wheelchair for the rest of my life. Number two, heart issues. And what is number one? Actually, shit, I forgot. No, I literally had number one in my head. What the fuck was number one? Malaria? Yeah, no. Number one is getting uh, kidney stones. Kidney stones is worse than... Bro. Kidney stones, you pee. Stones. Yeah, they I come out your dick, bro. bro what? And that hurts us. Oh, How bro, is hurts. your ball stressing hurts more? No, no, no. Yeah. Because every time you pee, you feel the stones. And you literally pee the stone. Oh. No, I don't want to experience that, bro. I These stones is one. T- that's why I don't drink. Uh, that's why I only drink water. I don't drink frizzy shit, and I try to stay healthy and stay off all everything that could lead to knee stones, uh, kidney stones. What are the cause of kidney stones? Uh, salt, I think excessive salt. Really? I think the salt turns into stones in your kidney. Drinking too little water, mm-hmm. exercise too much or too little. Obesity, or weight loss, surgery, uh, or eating food with really too much to salt or sugar. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> you good, bro? We yeah, don't I'm need good, to go I'm to the hospital yet. I'm good. I'm good. I think that's like the top five things that I'm uh, afraid mm. of. Physically, physically. For me, let me see the top five. What am I top five afraid of? Getting bald. My ball is exploding. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Stop there, bro. <laughs> Oh, your ball, one ball exploded, not both. One, one ball, one ball, not both. Both is crazy. But how do you explode? Like, bam, and then your ball sack opens up? Not like it's, or it's, it's, it's it explodes inside? It's, it's, it explodes inside. But does it stretch your ball sack and it's, it stays big? <laughs> or does it just... I don't know. Just go know. It, boom, like a balloon, and then Is it even shrink. possible? Can balls explode? Actually, they can. If you p- press them, I think. Actually, what the fuck are balls? It's not like a balloon, right? No, 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 it's not. I think it's like meat, right? Yeah, it's like meat. <laughs> I, lo- I, I don't think they can explode that. You know. Oh, I you can. If if someone kicks you in your ass, your balls can explode. Your ass. Yeah. But ass like in. in like in your scrotum. In your scrotum, okay. I think your balls can explode when you land too hard too. Yeah. I told you about uh, this, right? Yeah, the, the force theory. and shit, yeah. gravity and. Uh, so my Newton. balls exploding because I jumped too high or whatever. That's number five. Yeah. Number four. It used to be getting bald. Random uh, uh, facts through yeah. this while you're thinking about your list. For the people listening, do you guys know that you can outlearn? Is that the w- right way? If you don't, if you don't, if you're not able to do something no more. Okay, jump jumping is a skill 
that you forget quick. Yeah, forgetting. Bro, I couldn't come up on forgetting. <laughs> jumping, <laughs> jumping is a skill you can forget easy. Yeah. And the only way to get that back is by jumping more. Yeah. So by jumping only once every year, you keep your you keep once every slash day, right? once every day. Yeah. Uh, you keep slash increase your jump uh, height height. And the thing with jumping is, you never feel like you're jumping lower. Jumping always feels the same. No, no, it doesn't. Let me actually for me it doesn't because I play basketball. Yeah, you play basketball. So for the people that really don't actually jump a lot, ju- they they will jump and they feel like oh I jumped as high as I could, but that's not the case because your body just forgot how to jump. That's why you mm-hmm. need to jump at least once a day. So every morning when you wake up, just jump, and then before you know, you're LeBron James. Is LeBron known for jumping high? Yeah. Who's the highest? There's a limit. There's not. There's not really a record. I think. Because usually, people only do the <laughs> tests in their first year. Afterwards, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So on average, like forty-two inches is like the high jumping okay. people. Those are the d- the dunkers. How big is forty-two inches? Like this? It's about seventy seventy something centimeters. Oh, that's sick. Actually, that's actually pretty sick. Uh, it's like I think I can jump maximum twenty centimeters, right? Actually, no. Thirty six inches is fifty centimeters, so it's six inches above that, so it's it's sixty five centimeters around that. So okay. let's say LeBron can jump like seventy centimeters to. to How high do you think I can jump? Maybe twenty thirty. I think thirty. I think thirty, but it's like actually, uh, no. horizontal jump. Yeah, yeah. No, no vertical jump. Yeah, vertical. Like vertical without a leap. Yeah, yeah, vertical. Without a leap. Yeah. Well, I don't think I can do 30 without a leap. Not, not everyone I think with a leap, I can do 120. No, you can do more than 20. No, 120. 1 meter 20. Yeah, yeah. High. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. No, you can't Easy. do That's crazy, you know, right? <laughs> That's just me, bro. <laughs> you, know how, that shit. you know how You know how high you would be then? Your that head would be, would be two meter. Your 80. head would be above the basketball rim. <laughs> How tall is the basketball rim? Three meters. No, no, I would be two meter eighty or something like that. No, but if you jump one meter twenty and you add your height to it, you literally become ten centimeters above the basketball well, maybe rim. Maybe one. With your head. Okay, maybe nine centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna change anything. <laughs> Though realistically, with a leap, I think fifty. Is that a reach? We need to test this. I'm I going th- to test I this. Think that I think that's I'm going to test this. Actually, 36 inches. I th- <laughs> that's a reach. I think when I'm, editing this, <laughs> when I'm editing this episode, I will see this and then I will try it out. I think... And then for the viewers, I will add the centimeters. I think you can jump 40 centimeters max. 40? With a leap? Without a leap, I think maybe 15. I don't even think without a leap, I have the power. No, no, you can do that. No, but you, you, the, without a leap, you can still do this. Go all the way th- at the bottom? Yeah, and then go... 70 centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what's up with these numbers, bro? <laughs> what if I jump and then I just kick my ass? My heels to my ass. Does, does that count as <laughs> a high <laughs> height? Because my knees will be higher than my feet. <laughs> oh, like that, you mean? <laughs> 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 nah, they don't measure it like that. They don't measure it on the bottom. No, no, no. This, yeah, nah, I get that, but... Do you know how they measure you? Yeah, yeah. They, 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 <laughs> they measure your feet. No. The distance between your feet and the floor. No. How do they? My head? Yeah. No, you have to, like they put like this. Yeah. You s- gotta stand like this, and the moment the the place where you stand at is zero, so you gotta jump and you gotta smack the shit, and this, the the highest part you smack is what like if how I far have you f- jump. Small arms. No, but you gotta put your hands up before you start. Ah, okay, okay. So it doesn't matter how big or small your arms are. It's made that it's based on your height. Okay, okay. So oh. either way, if you jump and you smack it, okay. it doesn't matter if you're okay, without jumping and smack. I thought they me- measured from the bottom, <laughs> but now I think maybe ten centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I think uh, yeah, bro, jumping and smacking something, I think easily thirty, man. Thirty, yeah. I think. I easy. think. I think. <laughs> I, I want to say forty, fifty. How much? Uh, how many inches? Thirty. Fifteen. Thirty is like. Um. Around 30, That's 12. Like 12. 12, okay, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like 12 inches. I could do that, easy. Some people have that. With a leap, I think... 
When you leave, I think uh, maybe 18. But <laughs> how does it go down? Oh, 12 was right without a leap. Oh, t- t- I would have 18, 18 inches. Yeah. I, mean, I thought she said 80 centimeters. Yeah, no, I, I was like, how the fuck the blood going <laughs> down now? <laughs> yeah, maybe 18 inches uh, with a leap. And how, did, how much did LeBron do? 40? 42. <laughs> they need to study that motherfucker. Man. Multiple people can do that. But people dunk from the free throw line. That's, that's crazy. There's, there's they literally the, fly, bro. There's a guy that literally almost dunked from a three point line. Well, just where was the defense? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He, he, he kicked did nobody in the head with his knees. No, he, <laughs> <laughs> no, he did it in open, open gym. He did it in like uh, just training. Yeah. There's this guy on TikTok that that claims to be to have all the jumping records. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. the guy, the bald, I, I know exactly the bald black mean. guy. The guy that says I jumped 12 feet and shit. Yeah, yeah. And he actually shows a video <laughs> of him jumping. So I shout don't out think to it's him. Real. It's, I think it's real, man. That's crazy though. But because he will be like in the Olympics, right? No, I think he's just a nerd that doesn't really care, because that's that's uh, f- something that happens a lot. Is uh, for example in MMA, there are a lot of nerds that been in MMA in the training MMA for so many years, and they're probably better than a lot of professional MMA fighters. But they just don't really care about that like that. So they yeah. don't really do that shit, compete uh, professionally or something like that. So shout out to all the nerds, man. Shout out to them. Shout out to yeah. people. So I think he's something like somebody like that. He has his own life and shit, and he just wants to show the people, yeah, I'm better Probably. than this actually. But yeah. he doesn't really chase it in uh, Olympic level or stuff like that. All right, all right. I think I got my list. Okay. Number five. My balls exploding because of a jump. Yeah. That's actually no. Number five. It used to be going bald. It used yeah. to be higher, but now it's number five because we got turkey. Yeah. Represent. You can save it. I can save it. And and I'm past the age where Turkish people go bald. So yeah. my hairline might be going Vegeta mode, but at least I'm not going bald. I'm not uh having patches. Patches. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not looking like fucking uh what's it, what's the dude's name called? Solar flare. Uh Krill. Yeah, yeah I'm not going Krill. Mode. They're both bald. Number four. Actually, solar flare is Tian Shan's move. Yeah, so. yeah. but Krillin uh, has the funny things with it. Number four, my balls exploding when I jump. Yeah. That's that's so scary, bro. Imagine you jump and then you just feel the shock wave imagine going through there your were feet. Uh, Imagine there was something that actually happened a lot and then you would have like video compilation about it. Somebody just playing basketball, he jumps. Do you hear? That's ah! crazy. Bro. That's actually <laughs> crazy. It would be hilarious to watch. Movie. I, I just it. realized something. It might be a South Park meme. Because in South Park, you know, remember when Stan became black and he jumped and then he landed on his knees, but his knees yeah. were like his ball sacks yeah. and the balls exploded? Yeah. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you got traumatized. Maybe, maybe. No, people actually told me that, but maybe they believe this from that. Yeah. I don't know. Number three, erectile dysfunction. <laughs> erectile dysfunction is not something that suddenly happens, right? No. It usually it happens reasons. when you're old. Oh yeah, bro. I couldn't care less. When I'm 50, bro, imagine I'm not it happens like 50 is tomorrow. too young, right? Imagine you don't get this. Uh, some people do get it, but like usually people don't. I think I will get it at 70, maybe. But then it's done. Action is done. I hope I don't ever get it. What are you going to do at 70? Nothing, beat bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do nothing at 70. So. I'm gonna beat it, bro. You'll probably be in a wheelchair at 70. Why can't I beat it? Because you're tall, so your 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 back will break, your knees will break, I will everything lay down. will break. You will just be. I will get a machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, man. That's wild. Number um, two. Going blind because my eyeballs popped. Actually, blindness is a serious matter. It's too. up there. Yeah. But specifically, my eyeball popping. Okay. That's scary. Like my eye still being there is whatever you know. Yeah. If I go blind because of whatever reason, I can still laser that shit usually. But if your eye explodes or it pops out of your eye, have you ever seen that shit? No. Your eye can literally like go out of your head. For no reason. No, let's say you break too hard. Ah, uh, something like that, okay. Yeah. Or let's say you sneeze with your eyes open. <laughs> I'm dead ass. I if always sneeze with my eyes open. If you sneeze with your eyes open, your eye can literally fall out of your head. I've never heard that, man. And you can like put it back in. That's not an issue. Because it's still connected with the with like the, the nerves. So uh, but imagine, your eye imagine, will imagine, imagine being in public, somebody sneezes next to you, and you see the eyeball falling out. That's crazy, right? It's fucking nasty. And you gotta like put it back in. 
So it's not that bad, but at the same time, it sounds very, very like scary, right? Because yeah, yeah. at the same time, you will be literally seeing this. Yeah. So that's I wouldn't even want to look at it. I'm not kind of dead. That was a real book. Bro was cooking something. Uh, and number and one? one, I think some brain injury. Oh, but uh, a brain injury you remember, or a brain injury you don't remember? A brain injury I remember, and I'm conscious of it happening. I don't Let's know. Let's say like I don't know how you know the, the boxer that like got got smacked in the back yeah, of his yeah. head and like his uh, his brain like swollen yeah, up yeah. and shit, that type of shit. Because he's actually conscious of what's happening, I think. Yeah. yeah. But he physically can't do anything because his yeah. brain. Uh, is you mean b- being paralyzed? No, he's not paralyzed. He's but paralyzed. Like a brain he was paralyzed. Injury. I know. Uh, if we're talking about the same guy, he got paralyzed. The Mexican dude. In, yeah, yeah. He got was paralyzed. He paralyzed? In, yeah, he couldn't literally move no more. He was literally. Yeah, but like it's different type of paralysis because usually like the par- paralysis is like. It, uh, your neck breaks or like the, the he back didn't breaks. Get, okay, maybe, Actually, maybe, maybe paralyzed back breaking is also move. fucked. Being paralyzed slash like spinal slash nerve injury. That that type of stuff. That's number one for me. Because not being able to though. not being able to like move my legs or my arms, that's something we should be grateful about, you know? That we that we are able to move it and recognize that this shit this can be tough. This, good, this 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 conversation is not good for me, man. Do you have do you have goosebumps? Yeah, I have goosebumps, man. But you have issues, bro. Yeah. You are the typical foreigner that's afraid of anything and goes to the doctor for everything. No, I actually don't go to the doctor. That's my problem. I never went to the doctor. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually afraid of doctors. Did you went to a doctor because you thought you were having a heart attack? No, YouTube but that was serious. Here. That was serious. Nah, you made it serious because you panicked. Yeah, but it was a serious <laughs> it was a serious occasion. But when I have a headache, when I have literally pain in my knee for yeah. days, I don't go to the doctor. I, can, I have the same issue. Yeah, I don't go to the doctor. Nah. So for that one, I was like, okay, maybe this one I need to go. I thought I had, f- I thought I was dying once as well. I had the. <laughs> so, it was. I was chilling with some friends, and we were just having fun, and this was back when I was, you know, doing the, the haram sh- activities. Yes. And I did some haram activity. This is the last time I actually did that haram activity too. Um, and the the time before I did that, I did it once before, uh, that I can remember right now. And I had like a great time. I was by myself. I was listening to music. And the second time I did it again, and I was really tired this time around. Yeah. So I was like kind of already, and I had barely any sleep. Yeah. So I was like hallucinating, and I was like kind of sleep drunk. Yeah. And with all that shit, I was like, what the fuck's going on? This and that. And I was like so tired that. I did not even know what was going on, so basically I thought I was dying, because I I had like I was started I started sleeping, literally I, I fell asleep and I dreamt that I was falling from the sky because I was lis- what was it happening I was listening to music and the music was like so nice and s- like it levitated me I was actually flying through yeah. the sky, but I <laughs> you know how fucked my light uh, playlist is you know when I shuffle yeah. my light shit because sometimes you be hearing Drake and then you hear some our best music and shit. Yeah. And I was listening to some like really floaty music and all of a sudden I started hearing like people screaming shit yeah. and I started falling. Yeah. And I woke up out of a nightmare but I literally thought that I was dead. Because the, the, the dream felt so real because I was yeah. so tired. I was like almost hallucinating because I was that tired yeah. and I drank something. So I was so tired and everything that I physically thought I'm dead. This is this is not my body, <laughs> and I went to the bathroom. I put water in my face, because my heart heartbeat was going crazy. Because I realized I'm alive, but yeah. my heartbeat is going crazy, and I'm panicking that because I really think that I'm dead. Yeah, I went to the bathroom and put some water in my face. I saw okay, my heartbeat is normal now, and I went back to my room, bro. I got my phone on my back on my phone. You can like see the heart heart rate monitor. I put my heart rate monitor. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. All of a sudden, I realized, shit, bro. How long has this been going on for? Because if your heart rate is too high for too many minutes, you can have a heart attack. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I, I started hy- hyperventilating and panicking because yeah, yeah. I thought, shit, now yeah. I'm going to actually die because yeah, yeah. my heart rate is too high. Yeah. And I think it peaked at like one f- 170 even. Yeah. And 180 is like the, p- the, p- the place where you can get a heart attack, Yeah. I think. Don't quote me on that one. I'm not a pro- trained medical professional. I think it's 185. <laughs> it might be. It might be. <laughs> I think you're right on that one. Yeah. Nah. I need to do the thing with sugar too, but I forgot. I think if your sugar levels above twenty five, maybe thirty, you get in a coma. 
That's crazy, right? Yeah. I heard no, about no, you people, literally get into a coma. I heard about people like having their blood like be almost as thick as like yeah, yeah. syrup and shit. Yeah, yeah. That happens too. That uh, was happening with my aunt that doesn't take uh, really? uh, medicine. Really? <laughs> they give her a special uh, syringe with shit that uh, makes the blood more watery and shit. She takes that every, I don't know, couple of weeks, I think maybe. This is, uh, sh- she does that? Yeah, yeah. But didn't she like uh, go fully against medicine? Yeah, but th- this one she needs to do. She uh. she doesn't do the medicine she needs to do. <laughs> but she so does she needs to do this one? Yeah, yeah. She, she takes the medicine that when it's too late... Ah, okay. okay. The, the one she takes, she also does. She is often in the hospitals, getting surgeries <laughs> and uh, I don't know uh, what all everything they do to her. Every, uh, once a month, she's in the she's laying in the hospital, literally, because she doesn't want to take her medicines. Shout out to her, man. She's no, it's, uh, I don't get it. Man. It's, 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 it's really it's strange, man. It's so stupid too, to be honest. Cause I'm like, well, you also have a daughter, you know. Think about your family. Why, why are you not taking yeah. her medicines? What are, uh, where am I to to judge, man? I don't go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a family thing. Maybe it's a family thing. Yeah. That's a good. You know, you know. Uh, I was going to say something. Honorary, honor, what is out. it? Honorary mentions, cancer. Cancer is it's crazy too. But the thing with cancer is there are so many variants. It's Getting not It's not that deep no more. Honorary and actually it's too deep. Yeah. yeah, yeah which okay. makes it not that deep no more. So Not if somebody says cancer now, it's like, oh. Which one? Hope you get better. Yeah, that's but back in the day, it was like, cancer, god damn. <laughs> so now it's, uh, uh. I think number two. You go two? to the doctor. Oh, why do you have hair? <laughs> you know, you're asking the typical questions. You can have fake hair, right? Uh, not all cancer medications lead to baldness. If really? I'm yeah. Ah, okay. I think what leads to cry, uh, I would baldness just go is, uh, is chemotherapy. I'm not gonna go. I think the chemotherapy, yeah, the chemotherapy, yeah, the fucks chemotherapy something up. Gets. But what's chemotherapy? Well, I'm a chemo I, I never real, understood it. If I they uh, they put like metals in you, no, it's, it ra- it radiates you. They put radiation through you. Like it's radiation th- therapy. What if I go to Chernobyl? Do I like it better? You can get cancer from Chernobyl. Yeah, but what? But could it, could but it also be better? But radiation, what it does is, I think that it kills cells. So chemotherapy is it kills cells because cancer is a cell that um, it's a tumor, and a tumor is pretty much a s- like all s- all cells in our body duplicate. Yeah. So let's say you cut yourself, it duplicates. Well, the old uh, ones die, question. the new ones come. Uh, what if I hands- have cancer in my hand and I chop my whole arm? Is the cancer gone? If it's they literally do that, not the whole hand, but like they li- they can literally cut the cancer out. Oh okay. But if it's new, they can do that. If it's old, cancer travels through blood. Yeah. yeah okay. So if they do that, the it's still in your blood, you know. That's why cancer come back, mm. because once it's in you and it's, it's too late, it can come back at any moment because it's in your blood, and it usually comes back in the lungs and like brains and shit. Yeah. But basically, what cancer is, it's a cell that misfunctioned, and usually a cell has like a stop sign. Yeah. You know, like at some point it has to stop duplicating. Yeah. But with cancer, it never stops duplicating, so it keeps on going and growing and growing and growing. <laughs> There's nothing that can fight it. Chemotherapy. Okay. Chemotherapy makes it so that uh, I think that chemotherapy is radiation therapy pretty much and radiation can stop cells from like even it kills cells literally it mm. kills you that's why really chemotherapy is very taxing on someone's body because it literally kills you but at the same time like it kills you to a point where it kills the cancer first and then you can yeah. heal but some people don't make it because the cancer is so far advanced that it will literally kill you probably before killing the cancer. Yeah, okay. There's no like uh, chemotherapy speedrun or something like that. Uh, Did uh, they just put more lasers? I don't know. Apparently there is, but like the general chemotherapy that the normal people can afford is general for everyone. But there's yeah. like different types of chemotherapy too for different types of cancer and shit. Yeah. But usually people can't afford that. It's for the rich. Yeah. That's yeah. why rich people get to uh, be like... Always get better when they get cancer. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, th- yeah, that was it. I uh, I learned about this because to find out exactly what radiation or s- what what which chemotherapy works against your type of cancer costs so much money that they don't bother. They exactly. just g- give you the general one that yeah, yeah, yeah. that and then and it might work or no, not. No, 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 no. They give you the ge- they, they go through phases of different chemotherapies and they just hope one of them works. Mm-hmm. So till they find the one that works, they will keep testing on you. Yeah. And you got to get bald and shit. Yeah, yeah. And when you're rich, they just take your te- cells and they test it on the cells. 
fucking really? bastards yeah. oh, that's crazy. tested on the t- cells and then they know okay this one worked and yeah. then they give it to you now one thing also that like everyone has tumors in their body in a way you don't say that <laughs> <laughs> nah, <it's> stop there <laughs> I don't, I but don't want to learn this. Your own body stops it. Okay. So probably what happens is people that have already weak immune systems, I might be just waffling, yapping, but I think that people that have immune si- immu- like weak immune systems don't have a strong enough immune system to stop the cancer from happening. Oh. Uh-huh. So what does that mean? Eat your, Eat veggies. your vegetables. Exactly. Actually, that's not. Uh, are are vegetables like that? Do they really work like that? In Turkey. Back in the day, they used to have like anti-cancer commercials, and they were all like, "If you work out after you got cancer and you eat healthy and you eat like five nuts a day, and and run ten kilometers a day and eat honey, you're gonna be good." <laughs> after the therapy? No, the without the therapy. Okay, no, but uh, I've seen a lot of videos of people claiming they got better uh, from That's cancer. By bettering their life. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because your body's going to be stronger. It's yeah, going to yeah. fight it. So, okay, that, I, that actually makes sense too, you know. So It's like AIDS. I don't think... Can, can you survive AIDS? Not like Magic Johnson. I don't, th- yeah. I don't think you can survive AIDS. Magic Johnson, bro. How did he survive AIDS? He just got rid of it? People saying he... He literally doesn't test positive for AIDS. Yeah, but how did he know he had AIDS? Because he fucked a lot of bitches. That makes no sense. This makes no sense. It's like nah. me saying I survived cancer. He uh, literally in the nineties, back when AIDS was really popular, you had to get tested uh, all the time, right? So you got tested uh, this and that, and he got AIDS, and he was like the the he was like the Michael Jordan of the NBA back then. It was right before Michael Jordan came. Maybe I uh, back in the day, maybe tests were not good. Who knows? Maybe he actually didn't. No, nah, he actually had AIDS, but the the medicine that he got. Did his eyes turn so yellow? Good. No, but the eyes yellow is not is not AIDS. Michael Jordan has AIDS. yellow eyes. Well, that's hits? because of c- cigars. Uh, how do cigars turn your the eyes? Smoke like from the cigars and make your eyes yellow. Well, seriously. And he smoked so many cigars that his eyes literally became yellow. Yeah, now you're talking. Uh, now that you're talking about it, yeah, his eyes are really yellow. How old is he? 60, 70? He was 22 and 84, I think. So he's like uh, 40 years I don't to that, 62. He's still okay. He's getting uh, at the. He's almost expiring. He still whoops people. Whoops ass in, in basketball. In basketball. Well, I'll probably whoop his ass, bro. Nah. No way, 62 year old beats me in basketball. Bro, he literally plays against his own players and calls them shit for losing. I think they're uh, bro, he like fanboying. I, he I was a fanboy. I would break nah, nah. He literally goes on the court and yeah. he tells them, like when he sees his. Because uh, he owned the team for the last like, yeah. so many years. He literally went on the court and said. Why am I paying you when I can play better than you? And he hopped on the court. He whooped his ass. He's like, nah, you don't even deserve this money. And then he just walked away. He's also not that tall, right? He's he's a little bit taller than me. He's taller than you, even. A little bit. Michael Jordan. Yeah. I thought he was known for being a short short guy. Nah, Michael Jordan was pretty tall. <laughs> That's not a short guy. Bro. You were saying he's, he, w- he wouldn't make it. He's short and shit. Right? In the documentary no. that I watched. The dancing something. Oh, yeah, because back in the day, it was all like bigs. Centers were the big thing. Oh, so his the, position. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, like, so his position was not the He was the too position. small for that position. No, 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 no. His position was normal. But it, it was as if saying, let's say football right now is being conquered by the strikers. Yeah. The strikers are the best players. Everyone passes to the strikers. The only people that score are literally the strikers. Yeah. And they he's are like, all big and strong. Yeah. Like and he's, he's a camp. Yeah. And all of a sudden, people are like, oh, why would you get a cam when you can get a better striker? Yeah, okay, okay. Because okay. he's, he's taller, striker's taller, this okay. and that, he doesn't need to uh, do all misunderstood that. Misunderstood then. Obviously. And Michael Jordan is like, you know, I'm the best player out there. Yeah. That's the yeah, I might, I might need to watch some highlight videos. Then ah, I, I really will conclude good. a strate- strategy against them. I think if you give me three days, I beat the shit out of him. Ah. No way, bro. There was a guy, this is yeah, actually... He's better shooter than me, I would give him that. He's probably better sh- shooter than me, he's but everything player. else I win. He's more athletic than you. No way, bro. He's he can still dunk. Bro. Bro, give me two days. I learn how to dunk. There's there is one guy that beat him in his prime. That was a like a fifty year old fat office worker. So you're telling me in his prime a fifty year old fat office worker beat him, but I can't in his sixties. It wasn't really in his prime. It was like after he retired. Oh yeah. If but I it was he used literally the it was so stupid that the way he beat him. 
he just like he's like short, right? Yeah. So he just like went under him, and he's like fat. So he puts his body against him, and just went like this the whole time. <laughs> Is there like footage of this? Yeah, <laughs> there's uh, footage of this. Bro. There's even a video on how to. But dis- it was like dis- disarm uh, him, bro. No, nah, it's like I'm good. <laughs> I just need three days. You're too tall for that, though. Actually, I'm smaller than Michael Jordan. Then you are smaller than Michael Jordan. That's a fact. He's fat too. Now he's fat, yeah. He's not fat. Yeah, he's, I might not win old. this. I might not win this, man. You will not win this, bro. He probably can't jump, right? Because he can't jump. Bro, he's, he's six two. His, his knees probably don't. He work legitimately can't jump, bro. It's okay. It I was so serious, bro. Okay, they I had last I need year. To some they had a last last year. They uh, had a top seventy five of NBA. Yeah. And he literally went against his old rivals, like, one who won me right now, bro. And everyone was laughing, but he wasn't. He was actually serious. He was like, one who won me right now, bro. You want to talk that shit? One who won me right now. And everyone was like, ah, it's Mike. But, but you saw in his face, he was serious but about did that he shit. Won? No, they didn't want to one. The other guys didn't want to one v one. Okay. He would have beaten their ass. Michael, if you genuinely want to one v one, bro, just give me three days. Fly me out. <laughs> have you seen the clips of Michael Jordan in his own basketball camp? No, I've never seen clips of him doing anything. This is like 60-year-old, no, this is like 55-year-old Michael J- Jordan. And yeah. he's in his own basketball Jordan camp. Mm-hmm. Basketballers have their own camp. That's how they earn a lot of money too. They get like, they make kids pay 20 bucks, or like way more actually than that. And they come over for like a week or f- three, four days to train basketball with NBA players. He got there and he, he he's like looking at what the kids are doing. And other people are like, oh yeah, this and that. And one of the other basketball players was like, Mike, if, what was it again? If I beat you in a free throw contest, uh, or if you miss one free throw uh, shot, you have to get every single kid here, like, free Jordans. Yeah. He's like, I got you. <laughs> he literally did not miss anything. At some point, man's literally blocked his eyes and he still hit that shot. Blind. You know what that means? He's a fucking dickhead. Because he didn't want <laughs> to <laughs> give, <them laughs> <laughs> <laughs> give them no shoes. <laughs> He's just a dickhead. Yeah. He'd be like that, man. He knows. He no, knows actually, the money. he doesn't deserve a one for one against me, man. I don't fuck with dickheads. He'd so he's like lucky. That. He's lucky. He's lucky that. Uh, We're not gonna see the wrath of Mo today. Nah, nah, nah. I would have. I would have changed MJ to Mo. Talking about <laughs> MJ, bro. You know what I really hate? A shout out to MJ, man. What do you hate? The the we done with the '90s trend. No, that was hilarious, bro. But I hate when it. Bro. They, when they when they started bro. to it's have so like stupid. the footage with the videos, that was actually hilarious. Man, because they, bro, the, the dumb part is, like, the current day NBA has the same footage. There's the same videos. Yeah. Literally, LeBron has so many, like, bloopers and shit, but that doesn't fit the narrative. Because uh, then it's not really done with the 90s, you know what I mean? But we need to be done with the 90s. We no, need to they're move saying on. that, no, the, the, the whole we done with the 90s is, they're saying that the 90s only played against plumbers yeah. and school teachers and this and that, but that's not true, first of all. Yeah. The 90s already made kinda, money. Kinda, right? The 90s were already... The 90s in basketball was like the 90s in football. You were already professionals. You weren't like bums playing football, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's the case. But people like show the one clip where MJ misses a shot. And they're like, ah, look how bad he is, bro. Like as if he didn't hit 35,000 shots in his career and shit. Yeah. So we're not done with the 90s. And I hate trends like that, man. It's funny, but it's not funny when he's the goat for you. No, no, th- I get that, I get that. It's the same when, when I was younger, I used to hate Ronaldo memes. Because he was my goat. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't watch them when they were like making fun of Ronaldo. I was like, yeah. But now I just laugh at everything, man. The thing is, I can laugh at stuff too, but when it's like so obviously not true, it annoys me. No, it annoys me when it's not too, it's only obvious for me that it's fake. When I know this is fake, but everybody else believes it's right, that annoys me. But when everybody knows it's fake, that's actually hilarious. But that's the thing. Not everybody knows it's fake. Uh, Half of the people actually believe the clips. Because people only see, like, most of the people that watch NBA only watch the highlights. So the only thing you see is all these kids going like, oh, look, I c- even I could beat Michael Jordan and shit. And they, they, they show this clip. And it's, like, so horrible, bro. That's hilarious. Now, actually... I went I went into so many discussions with like people back in the day in NBA comments because people like people kept saying shit like oh Steph Curry can only shoot he can't do anything else. I always forget he was keyboard warrior. Bro, I the thing is I hate it when people say dumb shit online. Where was the comment? 
I was a common white knight, man. The common white knight. I hate it when people say dumb shit. Yeah. I just, I, last week I had the same. I'm maturing. You know how I realized I'm maturing? Yeah. I read some dumb ass shit, bro. Mm. Really, really dumb shit in the comments. What was it again? It was something like, it was something so stupid, bro. It's like the same, the, the comment that we got on our YouTube video. Remember the short comment yeah. that we got? The dude, so basically for the for the uh, for the people that are that don't know what I'm talking about, on our YouTube short, I talked about that a lot of the stuff that you buy that's made in Germany or made in whatever country is not actually made in Germany, but it's made in China and it fl- it got flew over to Germany and it was just put together in Germany and they p- can put the label made in Germany there because apparently. In the in a lot of countries in the EU, which is already stricter than the rest of the world, if it is like twenty five percent built here, it can be qualified for being made here as well. So I talked about that, and the comment was, "Bro, th- what you're saying is does not it make any sense. It's not correct." Yeah, bro, what the fuck you mean, bro? That shit makes me crazy because yeah. you don't even know what you're talking about. You're just saying shit. You're just saying shit to say shit. And I hate I hate people that just don't use their fucking brains for once. No, you hate freedom uh, of speech. No, I hate stupid motherfuckers. I hate people that don't know how to use their brain to look up something so s- simple. I, I also think we live in an age where we consume so much information that we couldn't bother to actually fact check it. I'm also like. But why did you comment? Remember, I sent you like the f- the the pictures of thick uh, Judge Judy. Yeah. I thought they were real. I fact checked it. Yeah, you fact checked it. I thought they were real. And no. The Which, uh, that's like something that you consume, and something in your head goes like, <laughs> "Why would somebody fake it?" But I get why they would fake it. But yeah, well, the I, I don't really care if it's real that. or not. Yeah, I was looking wanted to believe that too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was ready. To it I was ready to jump in the. <laughs> jump cor- the hype. <laughs> 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 I'm number one fan. I was ready there, like the guy uh, from court that jumps in, uh, on the judge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was already there, man. I lock me up, man. Uh, th- those <laughs> pictures were crazy, actually. They're funny, man. Bro. bro, if you don't know about it, look up Tick Judge Judy on on TikTok, and you're gonna find. But for the people, it won't hit the same because you watched Atlanta, Atlanta, and you told me about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's or also, yeah, 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 I've seen, I've seen the no, show. I, I told you. The, uh, then you saw, showed me the clip, and in back of my head, I was already like, "Oh, that would be hilarious if it if was real." Judge is actually yeah. Thing. And then I saw the picture. I was like, "Maybe they did it because it is real." Yeah. And they made a joke about it, but it wasn't real. So it got me, man. Yeah, it really got you. When maybe. are you gonna watch Atlanta? Uh maybe soon. I just need some time to relax and watch other stuff first. Okay, okay. I, I need can. to. I need to transition into my uh, anime arc. Out of your I've been anime going arc. No, no, I've, I've, I've been in movies, yeah. I think, uh, a year or two ago. I was only watching movies. Then I started watching TV shows. Now I'm transitioning away from TV shows to anime again. Then I'm going to watch some couple animes. And then I'm going to go back to uh, TV shows, maybe, or mo- and then movies. So are you gonna watch Atlanta now while you're transitioning into anime? No, no, no. We're no, gonna no. watch it after you. I'm transitioning anime. into anime now, but I'm also like up to date with a lot of c- a couple of TV shows. Ah, okay, okay. So I will uh, just go that way. But it, is, it also is it also f- also feels like there is no any good anime, which sounds strange because I haven't really w- been watching anime for the past two years, I think. So I would hope there are some good makes indie sense, animes though. or. Uh, continuation of of big ones because I'm the, okay the, the shows that I'm up de- up to date to I don't really count because I'm I'm gonna watch them every way anyway every week anyway so I just need to find the new one ten episodes maybe twenty even a hundred thousand two k five I just want some good shit to watch but I think I need to look deep into it you should watch the NCIS shows. No, no, it's too much. That's too much. I've seen... The thing with me is, if I've seen a little bit of something in the past, I don't want to rewatch it because I think it will change my perspective of that show or movie. So I just want to keep it as I remember it. But can it not be a positive way? 
No, it's never positive. Really? Yeah. For me? Never, never go back to the past. I never play a game you played 20 years ago. Never go watch a movie you watched 20 years ago. Don't do that shit. Don't go back to school tw- 20 years later. Don't meet your gr- ex-girlfriend 20 years later. Don't meet your child 20 <laughs> years later. <laughs> Just keep it in the past. That's, that's horrible advice. No, no, th- it's fact, bro. Imagine you you are, was not in the life of your child for 20 years. Then you suddenly, yo, ba- yo, Ben, I'm your dad. But what if he didn't know? What do you mean? He didn't know or you didn't know? You didn't know. Then I then is why do I need to know now? Nah, that's crazy. I didn't know you for 20 that's years. Crazy. My life was good, bro. <laughs> Let me continue it that way. How do I, I don't know him, bro? Imagine he's a fucking dickhead or she's a fucking dickhead. Maybe she's a thought, a bob. That's what they call it uh, oh, nowadays. <laughs> Does bob stand for something? Bitches on penis. <laughs> Actually, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe she's a bob. Maybe he's a fucking dickhead. Maybe he's a drug dealer. Maybe he's a child smuggler. He's a pedophile. Maybe he's a fucking pedophile, bro. Arrest him. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, would be too complicated. How <laughs> 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 uh, do you say it? Uh, conflict of interest. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Conflict of what interest? <laughs> of, of, of me trying to, trying to fire my child <coughs> and then find out he's not good, then I'm doing it out of pettiness. I'm not doing it for justice. I'm not doing it because he's paid off. I'm doing it because he's my child that I don't like. You get what I'm saying, Doc? Because if I actually cared about pedophiles and stopping them, I would hunt them right now. But I don't. No, so but if you know, know a pedophile, yeah. If you know a, if you see a dude making out with a with yeah. a dog, <laughs> with a dog, <laughs> are you not gonna call the police? Say, with a dog, I wouldn't. Uh, me, to be honest. <laughs> If I saw a, a guy kiss his dog, bro, I was the. What if you see him get some peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> what, Man, if you, what if you go to his house, you open the peanut butter, <laughs> up, and there's a <laughs> hole in it? <laughs> what if are you gonna do then, bro? If I if I walked <laughs> in the street and I saw a guy lick his uh, lick his dog's ass, I would do nothing. <laughs> I would just walk by, bro. Yeah. Because if if a, if a person is crazy enough to do that shit in public, I don't know what he would do to me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I would just, <laughs> I would just walk, walk past. Okay, I wouldn't do shit. Yeah, well, let's say let's say you come to my house <laughs> and you yeah. open the peanut butter <laughs> jar. I would take pictures and I would laugh. <laughs> I would send it in the, in the group chat. I say, "We're well, look what this dude is doing." Shit, it'd be hilarious. I would laugh at that. But if I walked on you licking your dog's ass. <laughs> I was called the police. <laughs> Why would you call on me? <laughs> well, that's uh, hilarious. Uh, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Not you, you doing this shit about me calling the police on you is hilarious. That makes the story perfect. <laughs> imagine, I, imagine I see, yeah, I, ca- I, I, called, uh, I called him doing, uh, licking his dog's ass. That's okay. That's a, oh, oh, what the fuck, bro? That's horrible. Yeah, horrible. But if I say I, I called the police, that's hilarious. <laughs> I think that would add to the story better. Yeah. So, yeah. It would be even funny if the police just, just didn't do anything. Actually, what they're gonna do? What the, what if you stop licking? <laughs> what if you stop licking his ass? Then they pull up. Right Where's the come. proof? Exactly. Are they gonna ask the dog? I thought they're gonna ask me. <laughs> <laughs> you like some dog ass. <laughs> <yes. laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Man. Actually, uh, one minute silence for all the dogs that are getting abused and their assholes <laughs> ate. <laughs> But it's okay. But it's okay, dude. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm in tears, Actually, bro. dogs lick each other's asses, right? Yeah. Maybe they enjoy that. Maybe it's not even horrible to do that. No, they don't. Dogs. They don't lick it. They smell it. Oh, okay. Did you know that? Did you know that there's like a current meme going on that the white women with dogs is the worst combination ever? That they make them lick their pum pum. <laughs> that they fuck the dogs. Oh, that's oh, that's <laughs> nasty, bro. Bro, I kid you that's not, old, bro. bro. I kid you not. I saw. It. <laughs> Can you get like a hybrid human dog? Nah. Maybe that would be sick. If that was possible, I would allow it. That's crazy. I would allow it. I would be pro it. <laughs> allow I would. It. I would, <laughs> 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 I would, <laughs> I would uh, go to the demonstrations. You know what I saw, bro? <laughs> I all love this love and shit. Bro, I saw this uh, a friend of ours. Yeah. A mutual friend of ours that always sends us weird ass TikToks. Yeah. Sent me a TikTok. And it was like this dog slideshow. 
and the what was the song again? Shit. The song I'm the biggest bird. <laughs> I'm the biggest <laughs> bird. <laughs> not that, the biggest bird. <laughs> nah, different one. That shit was hilarious too. That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> but it was a dog, and like it grew up. And the mm-hmm. first, uh, the first dog was a small dog, and the next dog he was laying down. <laughs> <laughs> he was packing. <laughs> 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 the funny thing was when you yeah. look at the comments, the women went crazy. That's wild. Maybe, but I could not. I think I don't understand uh, women humor. Bro, I think that's bro, it. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I I know for a fact that women sometimes, a lot of times, most of the times, are not funny. Yeah. Almost always not funny. Ninety but, percent. But at some point, bro, when your joke is literally actually. I wish that dog Somali was women me right now. are funny. Ninety-five percent, ninety-five percent of the Somali women are funny. One of the funniest people I know are Somali women. Literally. Shout out to all the Somalis. Actually, shout out to all Somalis. <coughs> Somalis, are we funny. are fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think agree with that. We need to have more comedians, man. But the thing with us is our humor is really offensive. But that's what comedy is great about. No, no yeah, but ours is too offensive. We don't. Bro, we're women, we don't white women are filters. fucking dogs, and we are offensive. Oh, uh, who is we, bro? <laughs> <laughs> who is we, bro? You and me. Um, no, I'm not offensive. I'm really considerate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nah, bro, that's yeah. crazy. I do wanna, I do wanna go to a comedy show once. No, there, there are a lot in uh, the Netherlands. Really? Are there comedy yeah. clubs here? Yeah, and uh, the most, I think, the biggest ones are in uh, Brabant. We should go there, man. And a I, lot I, of I don't think we will be funny no, at all. No, but a lot, a lot of English people come there too. Really? Yeah, the the friend of uh, Andrew Schulz, the not funny Indian guy, either, bro. The Indian guy from Andrew Andrew Schulz. Oh, really? Was, uh, okay. Had three shows in uh, the Netherlands. Really, really? Yeah, we should go there. In Eindhoven, he had two, I think. And one in Amsterdam or Den Haag or something like that. The problem with comedy shows are, bro, some no, stuff are no, just the not thing funny. Is, no, the thing is, we don't have a comedy culture here. In America, there is, it is a thing. There's a whole culture. But well, people aren't comedy. even that funny, to be honest, there. In America? Yeah. Yeah, but there is a culture for it. But people laugh so it's, like it's not funny. It's like going out and you're you're there and it yeah, happens. Yeah. In Turkey, but we have a very, very For good us here, culture. it's not normal to have comedy shows. So if you go to a comedy show, it is only if you're going for somebody. It's not somewhere you sa- accidentally end up. Mm. So I think that's the b- the big difference between us and the states. But it's also different here because we do have like comedians like Kabir Chase. Yeah. You have, you have you also have like TV shows with them in it. Yeah. But it's a whole different concept. Yeah. The way they do it is, it can be funny, but it just it just doesn't hit the same. Yeah, like there's certain com- like Turkey has a very very good and big comedy culture. Like mm-hmm. we have uh, the comedy movies are great. Um, the stand up comedy is also great. Like shows are being sold out. Certain comedians are literally bigger than like rappers in Turkey. I would say. Like let's say you have uh, literally the same. Like but over here is no. B- I don't know like I only know one comedian. I know like two or three. I don't even know them by name. I know them by face. I know know the bald guy with the beard, the fat guy. Yeah. I know the 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 guy with the with the hair, (laughs) the glasses, and the beard that Mm. talks about pissing in his wine and shit. And I don't know. You know the 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 meme. I don't know that one. I don't know who you're talking about. Literally. The dude that like. I think you described yourself. (laughs) 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 Was the guy with the beard and the glasses and the hair? I don't know. God. I know a couple. It's like from the but hmm. Dutch comedy is uh, like the big guys that have the, like so you know Najib Amhali of course. Is it Najib Amhali right? The Morgan guy is Najib Amhali right? I think I do. Yeah, it's Najib Amhali. You know Najib Amhali. Oh my he's God. I think he's to top three. I don't but think so. I don't like Dutch comedy, man. It's not. I don't. Uh, it's it's not my type. Uh, I can't I can't relate. That's the more of it. It's not, not that I I just can't relate. You know what the problem is with Netherlands? That, w- that I cannot relate. We have no culture in this country. No, there is culture, but it's not our culture. No, no, no. I'm I'm literally t- saying that 
the youth of the Netherlands is not being culturally developed as much as other countries because no, our fact. museums are not free. Yeah, a lot of the cultural stuff is not free. Yeah, a lot of the stuff is being pushed under the rug, and a lot of a lot of the stuff is being only focused on one stuff specifically. And uh, most of the history that we learn is not even about this country. Yeah, and with all that in combined. And the money that goes to random shit that doesn't even like culturally develop us, we have a lack of cultural development to the point where I think that if you do something that's even remotely a little bit culture influencing, let's say a podcast or whatever, the you will become successful because there's nothing else to watch because people are like, oh, this is culture, even though ah, it's not good. Yeah, so okay, no, because exactly. you don't have the competition that you have in other countries, I realize this with designers specifically. In Turkey, there are so many like good designers because they have to keep on competing with each other. Yeah. So at some point, if you keep... But a lot of their skills are unused because people like the simple stuff yeah. and not the best stuff. That's the, the Because a lot of the people in Turkey design for the states and whatever because they're actually you know paid a lot better there. But there's so much competition that you have to be so much better than the rest to stick out from the rest. But over here, if you have 10 people instead of 1,000 people doing the same thing, you can all just be together and yeah. do it together without anyone stealing from each other. Yeah. And that causes for people to not be funny facts. or talented. Understand. Facts. I haven't, I haven't looked at it from that perspective, but you're that's right. That's my theory. But no, you know, it's, it's fact, bro. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. In, yeah. the, in the hip-hop, it's the same. Yeah. Just like, it's just yeah. not that good. Yeah, like, no, it's no, no, like there's punchlines here and there, yeah. but no one is a great artist. Yeah. There's no one is a great comedian. No one is a great singer. No, people have good voices, but they're just not good. Yeah. They're not great. They yes. will never be great. Yeah. Because there's no competition or they want they don't want to compete with the rest. But the people that compete with the rest of the world are really, really good. Yeah. Look at DJs. DJs are great. Yeah, the Dutch DJs are yeah. or like artists that are Dutch but they only make like English music. Yeah. Like well, the yellow claw and shit. Yeah, yellow claw is like international. He's yeah. not the best international, but he's way bigger than Dutch artists can ever be, because he competed with the rest and he got yellow better. Yellow claw is a group, eh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, but the DJ. You said he. That's yeah, I know, but like they. Yeah, yeah, they're with two guys, I think now. Because like BC came called? back to the Netherlands. And the the was it like Amsterdam something? Also a DJ group of two people, I two don't guys. Know. But we got the Martin Garrix, uh, Armin yeah, van yeah. Buren, exactly. Tia- Afrojack. Not Tiesto, Afrojack, yeah. Is uh, t- Tiesto's Dutch, right, too? Or am I tripping? I was, I was tripping. I, w- I wasn't sure uh, if he's I think Dutch maybe. T- no, no, Tiesto's no, not Dutch. Uh, Dutch, I think. You just look it up. I think I'm confusing with somebody else. But it could be that he's Dutch. I've been in the same uh, five-star bus uh, Martin Garrix has been in with uh, top models. Really? Did you know that? yeah, yeah. But have you ever been in a five star bus? Oh, he's he's Dutch. Tiesto is Dutch. Have you ever been in a five star bus? It's ridiculous. What what's in it? It is five star. So what the fuck happens in it? You have a bus and you go in s- in the bus, yeah? Yeah. Where there are normally two seats or f- two two seats next to each other, there's like this one big sofa. It's yeah. like the, the one chair sofa. Fucking nice c- uh, c- uh, c- uh, c- cushions and shit. You just relax and uh, after the second door in the bus, there's like this big U U turn uh, sofa. Yeah. And in in the middle of it, it has a table where you can play blackjack and stuff on it. They literally <laughs> have the s- the s- uh, the poker cards and stuff in it. There's TV on every corner, and in the middle there is a bar. And through the bus, you have an Uber. How the fuck did you get in the you bus? You have an Uber that literally gives you stuff and stuff. How did you get in the bus? Because our uh, we were going to a school trip uh, to Flevoland, I think it was, and the company we hired the bus from, their bus had an issue uh, on its way to us, but they had no other bus available except for that one. With, with the Martin Garrix. Yeah, where Martin Garrix was in. No, I, I wasn't with him together there. Oh, with the I thought you were there. No, 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 no. That's crazy. He's been in that bus. <laughs> so the bus comes and the door opens and the Uber guy just comes out and he's like, hey guys, welcome to the bus. 
take your step in and we'll get in and I was looking like bro what the fuck is this for a bus bro so so fucking sexy bro beautiful yeah. bus and then me and my boys we go at the back and there's like this big U-turn uh, 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 sofa and we just sit there and the guy comes to us and, and it, the Uber was so fucking hilarious he was a real G he was making jokes with us he gave us uh, chips and crisps, crisps I don't know how do you say that and potato chips and stuff and drinks and we were just laughing with him and he was telling us stories about the bus and shit and we're like what do you do he said yeah i just chill here sometimes there's more there are models so I, I just chill with them and shit and then one of my Hilarious. friends was like ah you did something it's like ah, i can't talk what happens in the bus stays in the bus and stuff which is kind of how old were you i was t- 12. That's crazy. That's hilarious. No, shout out to him, man. He was shout fucking out to hilarious, him. man. Actually, shout out to him. So, uh, really nice guy, man. And the, the bus was out. The whole trip was uh, nice, man. <coughs> that trip, we went to Flavorland. And apparently, there's like this city they remade that's like in the 1600s. But the whole province didn't exist back in the day. Yeah, everything is fake there. So, that city is fake too. So, they rema- remade it. Oh, as in like they're reenacting as yeah. if they live in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So we went there and the people were acting like that. The stores were having stuff like that and we had activities through it. It really? was really funny. Yeah, it was really I fun. I always wanted to go s- to stuff like that. It was really fun. Are there like actual like, you know, things? Yeah, no, I'm talking pieces. about the stuff that, that cannot be shown from 1600s. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> not, uh, not some... Uh, j- <laughs> no, 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 they were not there. Man. No brothers there. <laughs> no brothers there. Man. Okay, that's good to know. That would be. I think that would be tough. I don't know how would that. How I would. America react has shit like that. I don't know how I would react like that uh, with stuff like I that. I don't know how I would laugh my ass off. I would be like, "What the fuck is this, bro?" I don't know what that. I would that's react, man. I would be like, <laughs> "Why if they does were like, this exist?" If they were white people, <laughs> schminked <laughs> like Swart Pete, that would be wild. If I saw that, I think I would laugh. That w- I, that would make ma- ma- no. no like, that would f- offense like, me. Not offend not, me. not laugh because I'm laughing. Laugh as in what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Yeah, you know, yeah. like I w- I wouldn't react any other way except yeah. for ra- laugh and be like, bro. How the- can people how not can, say why nothing? Why does it, why does it exist? You know. Yeah, yeah. No, but the city was nice. And or like, uh, how? Why the fuck are you even applying for that job? That's yeah, crazy. I never thought about that too, man. Why right? the fuck actually? Because in that? America, that actually exists. The fuck are you doing? People are actually doing that job. And they go to you like, hello, sir, I'm this and that. And he explains his whole life story of him being like... A slave. Yeah. That's wild, man. And I'm like, bro, how can you <laughs> willingly be like, ah, that's, that's that's a job for me, bro. How do you even find that, bro? Where? That's wild, man. I don't know, I think do they just come to you and be like, yo, brother, do you want to be a slave? Bro, if somebody come to me and they said, <laughs> I think you would be a perfect slave, bro. God damn. <laughs> That's God crazy. Damn. That's crazy. I would be like, God damn. I don't know how to react at that moment. Honestly, I, w- I, I would. I think I would like just discard myself from <laughs> from life. I would. I would not. That's such a that's such a question that you would not know how to answer it. Yeah. Because first of all, why are you even asking this question? Yeah. And why to me how of all the people? <laughs> how does this come up to your mind? Yeah. In twenty twenty four. It's wild, man. But yeah, people are wild. Yeah. I think that's better than being a pool slave. The uh, the Saudi pool slaves? No, the the guy that willingly wants to be a toilet slave. What the fuck is that? There's a guy that their kink is that people shit on them. And there was like this guy. I'm uh, gonna keep it real. That y- that's less worse. You haven't been on TikTok uh, in the beginning, bro. There was this guy in the Netherlands. He still is. And he had his whole page dedicated to that, and he had literally videos of him in shit, covered in shit, covered in shit. You know, start nah, talking. You I'm looking for a new, uh, new master and shit. Yeah, yeah. Wow, nah, I'm that's serious. crazy. That's Allah, crazy. Yeah, I'm serious, bro. I, I, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. That's less worse. That's wild. Than being a voluntary slave when you're black. Yeah, that's way that's worse. That, that's way less worse. I would rather be a, be a, what did you call it? Human toilet. A human toilet, then be black and be like, being a slave reenactor is my job. No, day is just business. <laughs> it's all about the money, bro. Have you seen the Franklins? Or the well, who's Benjamins. on the Benjamins? Benjamin how Franklin is the same guy. Uh, how many Franklins you seen, bro? How many Benjamins? How, how much we talk? Benjamin is like imagine, bucks, bro. imagine they tell you, 
every month 5k to act. I'm there. I say I will do it for four even, bro. <laughs> <laughs> four is crazy. Uh, four is without crazy. taxes. No, uh, w- w- without taxes, right? That's the correct one. Now the no, that I get four k. Yeah, you get you get four k. If I get four k clean, I'm good. You know how much money that is, bro? That's a lot of money. That's let me. That's almost fifty k a year. Actually, that's, that's not that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Especially in America, fifty k is it's not. It's forty eight k a year. What's the average in America? 35, something like that? 32? 33, I think. Okay, then maybe it is good. Okay. Depending on where I live. If nothing is uh, <coughs> expensive, then... If uh, you live in a random, like... If you live in Texas, it's, it's really good. Okay, then uh, maybe... If I you live know. in LA, you're broke. Uh, but that's also the thing, eh? With... with uh, because I was... When I was deciding what study to do, I was looking at people that made a lot of money and they were always computer science motherfuckers. And the uh, computer the science same. motherfuckers always lived in expensive cities. Yeah, that's why they were they were making 150k a year and shit. But it's fucking slave work, bro. Look at the well look at look at what Google's no, trying computer, to do. No computer, no computer science. Well, it's not slave work. You literally do nothing. Do you see what Google as is a, doing? As a software engineer, you do nothing. Do you see what Google is doing right now? No, I don't know. To make it cheaper for them to have workers work more hours, they're literally gonna build cities where the company is, so the workers can live there for free. Listen, listen, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't complain. Well, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> well, you literally live at the factory, you Nine wake five, up, you're at the job. But I have to work two hours more now, bro. My house is here. I would just work. It's free, bro. I got a free house, right? Yeah. Yeah, bro, I'm down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck everybody there, make a whole family take over. <laughs> make a coop. I'm there, bro. Me and my 12 children. I'm gonna take over. It's not, it's not you don't see the story. future. You don't see the future. Uh, I see a different future. Yeah, Genghis Khan was a cold motherfucker, man. <coughs> That's one of the best uh, quotes ever. Genghis Khan was a cold motherfucker? Yeah, he's a cold motherfucker. Bro. Is that the quote? <laughs> no, 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 the the quote was something like, uh, what was it again? He said, uh, God, God must, no. Uh, the, he, he killed one third of the world, right? A population, something like that, right? A yeah. third of the world population? No, uh, an, an eighth. An eighth of the world population, he, he murdered... Viciously. I think he said, he didn't he say? Um, he said he they must have sinned a lot for uh, for God to send me to them as a punishment. Oh no, he said he said God has sent me as a punishment for your sins. Yeah, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. that's that's a crazy part. Though. No, that's that's fine, bro. Imagine I'm in my house, some motherfucker breaks in. He's like, you must have sinned <laughs> for God to make me do this shit. I would just to give up, man. That's a cold bar, man. That is a cold bar. He was a cold motherfucker too, man. <coughs> you know they say he killed all the motherfuckers at his funeral, but I don't know if that's true. That is true. Actually, how do they know because everybody died? Except for the... Dead men tell no his tales. His right man. Yeah? His, his right hand man. Was the only person that survived. Oh, okay. Was the, only th- the only people he trusted were those. No, I, th- I think that he didn't say it first. Do they know where he is now right now? No, no, no one knows. It. Pe- people are still looking. People think that they might have found something. But they have no clue. Yeah. <coughs> I think that he wasn't the first person. I think that the quotes are like Twitter right now. What do you mean? I that see a quote from a dude and I use it sometimes. Some some people come up with good and quotes. Exactly. And I use it. And mm. people think I made that quote up. And so I'm going to act like I did. Lying to the world. <laughs> yeah, of course. I don't think uh, all the quotes from the so past so are So when a motherfucker, motherfucker says Vinny, Vidi, Vici, I think <laughs> you heard it from some other dude. I was like, yeah, yeah. that's the fire. Yeah. I came here, I, Imagine I, I conquered. Imagine Genshis was chilling with, with one of his bitches and she was like, ah, they must have sinned for God to send you as a Imagine the bitch told him that because yeah, she was I'm like saying. a headache. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, and then I was no, like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying, imagine she was like being a bitch to him. And she st- she told him, God sent me here because you were sitting here. Oh, right, that, was <laughs> that was a sick moment. That was shit, bro. Yeah. That was actually crazy. Nah, I, I hate that shit, man. Right now, what I'm seeing on Twitter is, uh, on Twitter, everyone does the same thing, too. I don't use Twitter, man. I tried it, but I uh, couldn't get the hold of it, man. I, I don't understand how to use it. I don't know what to do. Do I say good morning, guys? And shit? No, th- I'm not using it. I'm just scrolling through it. My news ah, you outlet don't, you don't is tweet. Twitter. No, I don't. You don't know. Actually, we should say you don't X. X sounds like you're doing some porn, no, bro. bro. X is <laughs> <laughs> X is changing up, I'm bro. Xing, bro. Elon is gonna change the whole fucking. He's ruining Twitter, so bad right now. 
In the beginning, it was great. It was going good. It was funny. But now it's crazy. He wants to make people pay for tweets. I think that's better because you will see less nonsense. No, you will see all the nonsense from the OnlyFans models. Yeah. Actually, shout out to them too, man. They're getting their money. And people and people that are like from that are like talking about free speech, third world things, this and that. Yeah. They will be silenced too because they don't want to pay like for each tweet. But <coughs> if you don't want to pay, pay for, for likes it, too, do you actually care enough about it? But you have to pay for likes too. So if you want to like something, you got to pay for it. That's strange. And if you want to retweet something, you also got to pay for it. Okay, maybe he's going to... Uh, to make uh, bots disappear from his platform. Is there no other way to make it? He said there's... Bro, there will probably be a function in JetGPT where you can make 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 the, make the AI pay every time if you just put a currency on it. Pay every tweet or something or like every shit. I don't think that's hard, bro. All you have to do is link stuff. Yeah, but people are not going to be paying, right? If it's cheap, I don't think it will be $10 for a tweet. That would be uh, ridiculous. I don't know, man. People people already got to pay like 15 bucks a month for verification for blue check. Mm. I even got a notification saying that my Twitter is going to be taken offline if I don't change my login because my login was with SMS. And, ah, okay. and they were like, SMS costs us too much money. So if you don't take it off your SMS and you, you don't use an authenticator app, we're going to block your Twitter. He's actually censoring me. And it goes against his policy of... No, he didn't censor you. He's going to censor you if you've got to pay for the likes and shit. Ah, okay. No, it's, it's, it's full of... Because right now, I do also f- get it from one side because, bro, I open my Twitter up and literally the only tweets I saw is like, do you love your mom? Look between J and K. Was it, was it between J and K? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know. Yeah, Do you like One Piece? Look between P and Squiggly Line, Squiggly Line. And there's OP. Yeah, there's OP. One Piece. And the official One Piece Twitter account said that shit. And apparently nah, it's... Nah, nah. They nah, do it so that people nah. click on the on the thing itself nah. so that they can see their keyboard. What does that add? It gives them interactions because people click on the Twitter tweet. Does that count as an interaction? Yeah, that's an interaction. If people like zoom in on the picture. No, if if people literally so, let's say I post it. To a you picture. post it, and you can click it so that it to open speak. your chat. Yeah. You have to click on the tweet itself, and then click on the chat. That's so stupid. What do you mean? Why would you do that? Ah, to you see need the to. Keyboard. You need to click on comment. Yeah, yeah you see. Ah. Look, look. To see the, my keyboard, I gotta click here, and then I can post my reply, but. I already clicked on the post to uh, see the keyboard. So that means that you stop there. There's interaction. Yeah. Okay, I, clicked on the, I clicked on the tweet itself. So that's one interaction. Okay. And with that, you can see how many views it has or how many interactions it has or whatever. Yeah. And if you have more interactions, I think you will get more money if you're like bigger. And if the people are actually do not say it. I think you will get more money or if you have more interactions, you will get pushed even further. So people are just like farming like that. Mm. It's it's like cheat codes. I hate it so much. I hate it when shit becomes too gimmicky. But when does something become too gimmicky? When a lot of people do it? No, it's like a gimmicky thing for me is stuff like bad top streams. Yeah. It shouldn't be working, but it works because yeah. system is broken. This. It shouldn't be working. But it works because the system is broken. People want people are too curious. Like in FIFA, um, by example. If I'm playing FIFA and people are like doing this, people have the same exact teams doing the same exact moves. In real life, in football, it should not be working, but it works. Why? Because the game mechanics allow that to happen. Yeah. So this, the social media mechanics allow that to happen too. And then it becomes too gimmicky because at that point, it's not even about the quality that you're presenting, but what tricks you're using to make it. Mm. It's like being a good, very good content creator, but you don't use TikTok. You're not going to be out there because you don't use the gimmicky methods yeah, to yeah. make it. That's why I was against TikTok for the longest. Yeah. Makes sense. Does actually make a lot of sense, but I don't really hate that. I think that's a beautiful thing, the gimmicky thing. I think finding easy ways out is a beautiful thing. 
that the if it, that is an option because you choose not to take the easy way but but when the easy way has that big of an effect then it is a thing why because it, it, no, was it, it is the easy way it's supposed to be because easy. you have like the easy way where it's you know it's effective let's say in reaction videos okay the bts reaction videos yeah. we posted a couple of ourselves and each one did great you know so that is one way to have a lot of interaction that is one way to grow your channel that is a way that's kind of cheating but at the same time you still gotta watch the thing you still gotta edit the thing so you don't also you don't blow up overnight to something great something amazing <coughs> so when you look at that it's it's all right you know you, there's some give and take but when you post something that has no quality no nothing no nothing literally you yeah. literally just copied something it's as if you watch a different guy's bts video that had one million views and we literally make it and we also get a one million views on it at that point i'm like now it's crossing the lines of the like i see it as a graph and yeah. you have like easy to heart and effectiveness yeah and when it's the easiest but the most effective compared to other shit then it's kind of, kind of unfair if it's if something is hard but it's more effective than the easy stuff i get the, i appreciate that more because at that yeah. point it's like no, i appreciate that more too but i think there i think that's the beauty of life that there are the options that, uh, that some stuff doesn't uh always end up logically logically or the way we want it to be because sometimes i also watch a video or like a, I see a streamer that has so, uh, for me, the quality is, uh, YouTube video is better. I see a YouTube video and it is so ass, literally, so simple, so random. And I'm like, well, what the fuck did I just watch? But it has so much likes and views. And then I see a masterpiece of a video that maybe took six months to a year to make. And it has 1K views. You know, I appreciate that video way more. But I don't hate on that on the other video because I'm like, okay, he found something. I think luck is also part of life. Luck is a skill. Well, um, that's what I'm saying. At some point, it's not luck. It's just redoing the same shit. Yeah, but if that works, why? W- I get it why we wouldn't do it or why you wouldn't yeah. do it. But if you do it, I get why you would do it I'm too. It shouldn't be as effective. The algorithm shouldn't. The algorithm should have something that doesn't reward that. You know what I mean? No, because you're the, you because you want to play the game on difficulty doesn't mean everybody else needs to be it on di- play it on difficulty. If somebody wants to be on but PC you don't really mode, play the game to if somebody with. if somebody playing GTA San Andreas and he spawns in a tank, which is not something you're, you sh- you're supposed to be able to do, but he enjoys that, let him enjoy it. But the difference is, you're both playing as the same character in the same world. But what they're doing, the equivalent is because the algorithm isn't focusing on them. The algorithm isn't equally focusing on you. Yeah. Because the algorithm is automatically focusing on them. Yeah. Not only is your job harder because it takes more time to create. No, so you're making your job harder. No, 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 exactly. So I'm saying, let's say both jobs. Let's say you're, he has this video. I have my video. My video takes 20 hours to make. His video takes one hour to make. Yeah. I would not care, care if my video takes 20 hours to make because I want my video to be great. Yeah. It is a great video, but the algorithm pushes his shit more further. Yeah. At that point, your job was already harder before that. Yeah. And the algorithm doesn't even equally treat you for the quality that you both have. Yeah. But it pushes his shit more. Yeah. Because he has the same stuff as the as the rest. It's yeah. a hype. Yeah. And a hype dies out, of course. So the algorithm jumps from one thing to another yeah. thing. But at that point, I'm thinking that the algorithm should shouldn't really do that, but just be a constant. No, I agree with you, but what I well, how I see it is there's a train called the hype train and it, g- it goes from station to station. Yeah. And if you decide not to get on the train, well, you decide not to get on the train. That's nobody's fault. But if somebody else decides to get on the train and go for two, st- two stops, then get out or stay for the whole train r- r- trip, it's up to them. So I don't think you can get... Uh, you can get mad at somebody for getting uh, in the train. I'm not getting mad at them. I'm getting mad at the algorithm. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. So the algorithm is a train that's always there. It is always there. The train is always moving. Actually, the person you should you be mad at is the, is the higher. Oops. It's Mr. Beast. Fuck Mr. Beast, bro. No, Mr. Beast fucked up YouTube. 
I'll Mr. Beast really fucked. That's what I'm saying. Victim is really fucked up. You, Mr. Man. Beast. That's what I'm saying because before Mr. Beast, the algorithm I think was more fair because everyone, like people, no, were making people it. didn't really care about algorithm like no, that. No, no, no. People did. They did because when PewDiePie and all that shit happened, people really did care about the algorithm. But people made it because the al- algorithm was rewarding to you. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Let's say your fan base is this. It's gonna reward like you by m- pushing it to that fan base. But at this point, bro, the way I see shit working is you make something that's so general for everyone, yeah. that's going to get pushed. And all the other stuff is just not being pushed. Yeah. So Mr. Beast fucked up YouTube for good. I think the niche is still available too, but in, in comparison but it to the But it's a small others, niche. No, 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 I think, no, the, I think what the problem is, the, gr- the YouTube always had a grind. You always had to grind for YouTube. It was never easy. Yeah. People always had to grind to get views, to get followers, to get to build a community. It was always being a grind, but Mr. Beast unlocked a faster way, an easy way. I think that's more it. I think because they, he unlocked the easy way, all the people that's been grinding for years and shit have been seeing the, that the easy way, easy way rewards mm. way better than they have been getting rewarded for the past, I don't know, yeah. five, ten years. They've been doing stuff. So they were like, okay, now you need to compete with him. Because this guy is going viral, and one thing that's kind of uh, in all of us is when you see when you see somebody doing good, you want to do good too. So when you see somebody getting X amount of Mr. Beast was getting f- millions of views every video, there was something that maybe a lot of people never seen before. They were like, okay, how is that possible? Okay, he's getting this type of videos. I'm making this. He makes that. He might let me try do more of that stuff too. So mm-hmm. that I can get the same results. So I think, I don't think he really fucked YouTube, but I think he unlocked something that fucked YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with I you. I think YouTube that. is still YouTube at the core is still at the core. And so I think it's also a, a combination of the brain rot of TikTok and shit of the dopamine rush that mm-hmm. gets uh, that it's a it's a combination of both. Yeah, because the attention span just got less and yeah, less, yeah, yeah. and he just capitalized on that. He capitalized on it. Yeah. Shout out to uh, what is his name, Jimmy? <laughs> right? Yeah, Jimmy. yeah, shout out to Jimmy, man. He's not Jimmy anymore. He's Ava. When did he change his name? Oh no, Jimmy is Jimmy is Mr. Beast. Yeah. I'm. I mean, it's Chris. Chris, no, no. Chris, Chris is, is Christina Ava now. now. No, it's Ava. <laughs> it's Ava, okay. No, and, uh, I, I meant saw uh, like Mr. a Beast. tweet about it. Apparently, he sues people that 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 call him a man. Yeah, I would too if I get the money. Why shout not? out to the guy that sued Megan Thee Stallion too. Why is st- why does she get sued? Up, allegedly, allegedly, she was in a car with her friend and him, and he was a cameraman, and they was were the driver. No, no, no. He was okay. sitting in the back as well. And he's a cameraman, and they were in a foreign country, and Megan Thee Stallion and her friend, her girlfriend, randomly started having sex in the back seat next to the dude, <laughs> and his reason was. That he could not get out the car because it was moving. Yeah. Which doesn't make but any did, sense. But did he say, stop, driver, stop. And then... That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So did he even say that? I don't think he did. Yeah. And the second reason was, oh, I was in a foreign country, so I, I wouldn't be able to find my way back. But I'm like, why would you say that you couldn't get out the car if you weren't going to get out the car to begin with? Would you get out the car? Zero question. I don't think I, I think would get. I oh think he's no. salty because he didn't get some. Yeah, <laughs> I think. I think, I think he saw it happen. He's like, yeah. no, I it's think. Be my I think he now. tried to. I think through the whole tri- trip, he was trying to get in, but they kept like pushing him away. I think he was, was like, filming it too. Bro, after ten times, I'm done. I think he was filming it too. Maybe he was. But at the same time, does maybe he have the SD card? That's a really good question. question. That's a really good question. But he can't. He can't publish that. Unless it's available in court. Bro, you know how salty people are. Uh, Kai Senna's dick got exposed because the bitch was nah, salty. Really? Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. Don't look it up, bro. <laughs> bro, start look it up, bro. <laughs> bro, start to grab his phone, bro. Calm down, bro. Let Calm down. Up, bro. No, no, yeah, she did. She, uh, because she she was lying about him. And yeah. In the beginning, he didn't uh, answer back. He didn't reply on her. But she started to go further and, ca- and stay w- even worse shit. And then she was like, fuck this guy. And then he replied, and then he exposed her whole thing. He showed like bank uh, statements and stuff of him not sending her the money and all the shit that she claims. And she was like, fuck it, I lost. And what did he do? He bought all her domains too. So all her websites, names, he bought it, and he uploaded a video of him exposing her. 
So yeah. so he made her really salty. She was like, fuck this nigga. And she posted his dick. I see it on Twitter. Bitch said, is this little or big? Nah, that's wild. I didn't see it. <laughs> that's <laughs> wild. Bro. I Question mark. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Bro, calm down, bro. Don't see the thing. Don't see the thing. I don't believe you. I don't. I don't trust you. Don't see the thing. I don't get a look. I I censored the 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 dick part. Uh, what's her name? Bro, there's no dick. There's no dick. There's no dick. There's no dick. It's down here. It's uh, is this or the wild, bro? That's wild. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna sue you. But I think your dick getting exposed is the trend right now. Everybody dicks getting exposed. And we we just what forget about it. What the hell is this video, bro? Drake got exposed. I show speed. Guys, I don't want to see it. Bro. I'm not going to lick it, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to lick. You got to keep... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to lick. There's no dick in it. There's I don't know. Well, I'm not trying. Well, I'm not There's no dick in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. That's wild, bro. That's, uh, that's wild. I don't think that's real. I think that's Photoshop. But that's wild, man. That looks that looks so sus. It is. I, th- I, th- I think Duke was just chilling like this, and they yeah. took a picture of Kai yeah, going yeah. like this randomly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for the people, it looks like uh, <laughs> Duke Dennis is receiving the Glock Glock four thousand from Kai Senet. It's crazy though. Yeah, that's strange, man. I hate I hate that. Why would you do that, bro? And somebody nah. just was like, okay, I need to make this, and he ma- they nah, made it. Ah, bro. People are making comparisons. They're saying the Kai. Three inches soft speed, five inches soft. <laughs> <That's wild. coughs> the speed, uh, the speed one was sad, cause it literally happened on accident. But this one, I, I don't find it sad. It's like your own fault, bro. You fucked M- with her. Mother was sleeping. No, but he fucked with her. Yeah, but he was sleeping. Yeah, bro. If you can find a hoe, known hoe, you get hoe problems. Yeah, true, true. That true. one, I don't really find it sad. For I don't think he cares. The Drake one, I also don't find sad because he posted it. But Drake has a reason for posting it. The speed it. one was sad because he didn't want to show it. Show yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake yeah. had a reason for posting it. It was very tactical. It was to cover the BBL Drizzy memes. I'm I'm, I'm so sure that B- Drake faked his own leaks. Oh, you don't think the leak is real or you think it is a leak? I, I'm sure that it's fake, first of all. Yeah. But I'm also sure that he leaked his dick because the week before that, everyone was talking about how Drake got a BBL and suddenly the, the talk changed. Maybe he was confirming that he didn't get a BBL but a dick enlargement. He was playing a different game. He was playing chess, not checkers. Yeah, He was like, yeah, I went to Dr. Miami. You saw me go out of his hospital, but I didn't go for the BBL. And Rick Ross in his song. Well, why would a man do BBL? BBL makes your booty bigger, right? Yeah. But why the fuck would you do that? This actually, that also makes no sense. Because he actually has BBL scars. What the fuck is a BBL scar? You have like specific scars for su- sur- certain surgeries, like women under their boobs yeah, get yeah. Like scars for yeah. the boob enlargements and shit. And he has like the scars that BBL people have. Maybe he was removing shit from his ass. Who knows? That's also possible, right? Yeah. He, he has done a liposur- uh, liposuction before. That's, That's like fact. with the machine and then they move the fat, right? No, they they take the fat out of your body. Just work out, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to work out. I get it. Bro, if I was that rich too, and my life was that awesome, I wouldn't want to train too. I, I would do the I would do the liver king. Liver you know king. what liver king did? S- steroids, like steroids, crazy. and his six pack was uh, implanted. If I'm correct, really? Yeah, it Drake, was Drake also had that, I think. Bro, but uh, I'll be honest, bro. Liver king looked good. Yeah. But he didn't really he, did, he didn't look healthy no, from he his face. He, his face didn't really look healthy, but his body. Joe Rogan looks very. No, Joe Rogan line. just looks all old. I'm be, me being honest, man. He just looks old. He looks healthy too, though. He looks healthy. He looks very masculine. Yeah, but he looks. You can see he's old. I'm gonna look like Joe Rogan when I'm sixty, hopefully. I don't know. Uh, Without the muscles. How my life? I can look like Joe Rogan because he's short. Uh, I to physically Rogan, cannot look like him when I'm sixty. That's actually crazy. Yeah, you even if you was the same height, you wouldn't be able to look like him, because your head is uh, not as round as his. He has a round head. No, but like if I'm smaller, I have a rounder head. So I don't think that's how it works. That's literally how it works. Okay, doctor, I forgot you. They call me Doctor Oz. I have my own show and shit. I'm talking about my own shows. 
I think it's the time to bring the end to this one, right? I don't know how long we've been going. One it's your job to do One hour, 30 minutes. Yeah, I think that's enough. That's, that's uh, enough. <laughs> okay, guys, and don't Peace forget Love to you never, guys. S- never, never send your dick to nobody, bro. Unless it's us. And don't fuck with hosts. Or unless you're a dog, or you have a dog. And don't fuck with bops, and don't, and don't like uh, dogs assholes. Unless your dog says, please. Unless you're at your house. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wild man. And don't put anything. I look. You hope there. someday I find I catch somebody licking, <laughs> licking your dog's ass. ass. That would be hilarious. Yeah. If you do, if any of is you that guys animal cruelty? What if the dog enjoys it? <laughs> 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 that's enough. That's enough. That's that's the, that's enough.